All right, everybody. Welcome, welcome to the DC booth. We got a special treat for you guys. Want to gather around? We have on the DC stage, Mr. Dustin Wen, the cover artist for <laughs> the Avengers Super uh, Super Sons and your favorite comic books. So we're gonna talk with uh, with Dustin. <laughs> <laughs> Come on around, guys. Come on around. <laughs> so, the way this works is while Dustin draws, uh, we are going to ask him some questions and talk about his, uh, his art and uh, his career. So, Dustin, how'd you get your start? Uh, with Wildstorm. Wildstorm Comics was uh, one of the first people to give me a job back in 2000 with uh, Jim Lee's studio. Wildstorm Studios. I call it Jim Lee's studio. Yeah. Would you consider that your breakout moment there at that Wildstorm? Uh, uh, yeah, pretty much. Um, sorry. I'm trying to <laughs> uh, yeah. What are you, you going to draw for us? Uh, I'll draw Super Sons, I guess. Yeah. Or right. I'll just draw a bunch of head sketches and kids can grab them. Or, oh, great. Or what do you want to do? You can give them to them? Yeah. But yeah, my first uh, book was at uh, Wildstorm uh, called Jet. And that was the first miniseries I got. Um, it was like four or five issues. Yeah, this is Damien. Where did you study? How, where, were you, did you always want to become a comic artist? Uh, no, I didn't really. I just liked drawing. And around high school, that's when I was like, oh, you know, I like comics. And, but I never really uh, pursued a career in art. Uh, I went into uh, 3D uh, design for like um, aerospace and uh, architectural stuff. So I did a lot of HVAC stuff. And... Uh, in 97, I heard about San Diego Comic-Con. I never knew there was, you know... I knew there was Comic-Cons. I've only been to, like, the ones in hotels and stuff. Uh, yeah, so I went to San Diego, and I was like, whoa, you can get a job doing this. And so I started drawing and portfolio. You know, you just keep doing it over and over. And back then, there was only two conventions. Right. There was the, this one and Chicago. And, um, yeah. How long have you been doing this now? Uh, I've been started in 2000, so this is, would be 18 years now. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Barely look over 21. Uh, so Thanks, man. <laughs> what's your favorite thing to draw? What's your favorite character to draw? You know, my favorite character uh, to draw is probably Mr. Freeze or uh, Poison Ivy or, you know, the Gotham cast. Um, but it's mostly the Gotham characters I want to draw, uh, so I now keep it limited. <laughs> You it's have a easier. long history with the Gotham cast. You, uh, you did some Batman books for us, and you also have a line of uh, books called Little Gotham, right? Yes, yes. And uh, we are bringing that back, too. Yeah, tell us a little bit more about the DC Zoom books you're bringing back. Um, the book we're bringing back is called Once Upon a Crime, and it's basically the Gotham cast in current day, but it's a, uh, it has a fairy tale twist to it, and it's going to be written by um, Derek Friedhaus, who wrote... Uh, you know, Lil Gotham and Secret Hero Society with me. Uh, yeah, it's going to be fun. It's, um, it's coming out in 2019? 2019, yeah. It'll be fun, man. Is that the same format? Uh, do you do... It'll be in full color. Great. Yeah, so... I know you, uh, you like to do watercolor, too. Is that uh, your yeah, preferred the, method? Uh, yeah, it helps me um, work a little faster. Um, you know, I like doing digital, but the problem with that is sometimes I have too much, uh, too many choices. Yeah. So, you know, on a monthly schedule, it's like when you have, I just sit around and just mess around all day. <laughs> what do you, uh, what do you get, what inspires you? What, what, what stuff that uh, you take from the day to day that, you know, helps you draw? Um, you know, I like music, watching cartoons, just funny things, you know, um, depending on what the subject matter is. Um, I like toys a lot. Sometimes I look at toys and just watching old cartoons. I'm really behind on, like, everything, so I just pretty much watch reruns. Uh, a lot of times that also helps because then I don't have to look up while I'm drawing. Um, I kind of know the words. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of sad. <laughs> who were your favorite artists when you were growing up, when you were learning? What, what, who, who did you emulate when you first started? Um, I liked a lot of the uh, Capcom artists. I don't know their names individually, but, you know, I was a big Street Fighter uh, kid. And, big um, gamer growing up? The, what, I'm sorry? A lot of gaming growing up? Uh, just arcade games. Not a lot of, like, you know, I don't really know how to play too many RPGs and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, it was that. And then um, for the painting side, there was, like, a lot of John Muth. Uh, Mignola was big. Uh, anything Jim did, of course, you know. Um, yeah, it's just a lot of different artists. You know what I mean? It's like, and sometimes I didn't even know the um, what I liked. 
I just knew I liked like a certain piece or something. Then when I got into comics, I found out what they were, and um, yeah. What's uh, what's the one piece of advice you give uh, some aspiring artists here uh, about their career? Um, I would say draw, draw, draw a lot, draw everything you see, and you know, draw every day because um, you know, like when you start working in comics, there's gonna be days where you don't want to draw, and you still gotta. Um, I think Scotty Young said it best. He said working in comics is like getting homework for the rest of your life. So, so even when I'm not like drawing, I'm thinking of what to draw, thinking of a way to design a piece or lay out a cover. Um, yeah, just always you know, keep your mind active and creative uh, until you can get down to a table and uh, you know, put it down on paper. Um, yeah, just draw everything too because with comics, we're, we're kind of like a one-man team or woman team where we do everything. We don't have a separate... Uh, prop designer. We don't have a separate uh, environmental designer, separate character design. Uh, comics guys, we do everything. We design all the characters. We design all the settings, the backgrounds, the guns, the toys, all that stuff. So, yeah. Can well, you guys so see most of these are moving? Moving. No, no, you're you're doing great, man. Uh, I make a lot of kids happy here today. Yeah, I figured I'm not really good at uh, explaining what I do. So <laughs> no, it's like art great. school. An art school class with me would be horrible. <laughs> so no. I'll just do sketches and you can get them because everyone likes free stuff, right? <laughs> so, so did you take, cla <laughs> did you take uh, art classes uh, in, in college? And I went to a high school art class. And then I took like a few um, life drawing classes at City College and stuff. Um, but no, hey. after <laughs> I used up all my uh, student aid fund going to like vocational school. <laughs> so I was like, oh, man. Now still paying for stuff that I don't even use. Uh. So. What is, um, what's your favorite uh, method of drawing? Uh, we mentioned watercolor, we mentioned pencils. Um, my favorite is just pencil. This is a yeah. simple uh, color pencil. Pencil. Um, I would use another pencil, but these, they seem to be less smeary and dirty. But my favorite thing is always a pencil. Um, if I could do everything in pencil, I would. But sometimes we need things to move into production. And, you know, some people like color and stuff. So, yeah. yeah. The covers that you do for Super Sons, was that done digitally? Was that done watercolor? Those are all watercolor, yeah. yeah. And uh, are you here? Are you here at San Diego all weekend? Uh, why don't you promote what what booth you're going to be at and uh, what are you going to be pushing? Um, I'm at uh, Artist Alley over in CC01, and uh, yeah, I just have original stuff and some prints. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you know, uh, I just found this out myself, but Dustin is a very big fan of uh, Supernatural, <laughs> and uh, he's got some great Supernatural stuff there, too. Yeah. Our sister company at the CW, their, their show. I've known you for how long, and I didn't even know that you <laughs> like watching that show. I don't like to admit it, but yes, I am a big Supernatural fan. <laughs> yeah, it was. I, I like that show a lot. That's one of the shows I watch on reruns, and even if it's a new episode, I actually can watch it without even looking up, because I swear it's the same thing. It hasn't really changed much, and I know their voices, so when I hear it, I don't have to look up. I know exactly who's saying what. Who's your favorite character? Uh, my favorite character is probably Castiel. Yeah. Um, he's just funny, you know what I mean? Yeah. We're deviating a little bit, but... Uh, the what? <laughs> we're deviating a little bit from this. <laughs> we are, yeah. What, what's, uh, what would you say the hardest thing for you to draw is? Um, hardest character would be Superman or Wonder Woman. Um, hardest thing to draw is probably animals, yeah. real animals. Um, so I can draw like fantastical animals, you know what I mean? You but real draw. animals are hard. So let's see you draw Wonder Woman on a horse. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'll draw Wonder Woman. But if I draw it in like this style, yeah, yeah, I have no problem. Like I can do this because to me she's basically Batgirl. See, the secret's gone. It's one character <laughs> over and over. What I know, I know you're thinking it too while you're watching this. You're like, this dude's just drawing the same thing. And he's adding a star, and now she's super, she's a <laughs> Wonder, Wonder Woman. Woman. <laughs> I, right now, she actually looks like Conan, the barbarian. <laughs> so I'm going to make her Conan instead. Uh. <laughs> so there, see? Now when you see Wonder Woman, you'll think of Conan. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what's, your average work, what's your average work day like? How many pages you could do it, can you do a day? 
Uh, I try to keep it to... Um, it's hard to say because I actually paint everything. Uh, I draw everything, and then I paint everything in batches. So I don't start a page and finish a page. I'll, um, I'll start, I'll pencil everything, and then I go back into... So, But if I break it down, we do a book a month, so... You know, whatever that entails. How many sketches you got so far? Uh, let me check. I think I got a good amount. Not enough for everyone here, though. I'm sorry. Thank you, Mr. <laughs> Scott. I don't believe you. Uh, <laughs> I got eight. Great, because we have, I think I count eight kids here in front. Is there eight? So we can give these sketches away to these eight kids. Right? Is it eight? Do you count yeah. exactly eight? Anybody have any questions for Dus? Yeah? What's your question? What goes into creating your own style? Um, I think it's something that just comes eventually. Um, I think the, the, the thing a lot of like artists, like myself included, when we first started was we went for style instead of actually learning how to draw. Um, when I first learned to draw, I wanted to draw like Travis and Joe Mad. And you know, when you have too many influences of people you want to draw like, it, it kind of messes you up, you know? So I, I really like those guys and I like them to this day. But I didn't realize I could never draw like them. But I didn't know that back then. I just wanted to draw like them in that style. And going in, you start making a lot of mistakes, you know? So I think the style just basically comes from uh, repetitive. Like if you keep doing something over and over, It'll eventually come. Uh, uh, so it's hard to tell. It's like, you know, like even a guy like, say, Jim Lee, you know, he, he didn't like just jump in and say, I wanted to draw like that. I think over time it became something, you know. He sucked back then. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? But no, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. All right. But, uh, I just want to thank Dust over here. Are you going to do one more drawing, Dust? Yeah, I'm going to do one more. Just okay. in case we have one kid show up out of nowhere. All right. I don't know what this is. Who should I make this? Um, Oh. So is that your basic pattern right now? Your, oh, I, I see a thing of Riddler. He's a creepy looking Riddler. <laughs> <laughs> so again, we can find you over in RS Alley. Yeah. And your book comes out uh, in 2019. 2019. It's gonna be like, it's gonna be this size actually. I think. And full color is going to be like 180-something pages. Great. A lot of pages, man. Mm. All right. Everybody Thank give a round of applause to Mr. Dustin Wen. Thank you.